Hi everybody, welcome to Just the Care Keisha and Stuff, and today we're doing a review of Moony Moon, my nigga Moon. Um, nor my little price sticker, I haven't taken it off yet, but it is known as the Nisei Sailor Moon, or Sailor Moon Imposter version, and right here we have the anniversary sticker, the Toei sticker, the 2015 San Diego Comic Con sticker, and all the, you know, all that good stuff. Good pose here, and a pose on the back. Back here you got all your blue fin and your choking hazard warnings, barcode, and there's no pose on this side. It just says Nisei Sailor Moon imposter version. I've been dying to open this. I'm so excited. Let's open her. And of course on the flap you got the Tamashi Nation printed on the flap. Oh, she's so pretty. Instructions. Okay, and it shows you how to do her bangs piece, change out her face plates, um, how to do her stand, which is a heart shaped also. Um, it also shows you how to do the hands, the different parts of hands. Looks like it opens it. it there, there you go. Okay. There it goes. Um, this side shows the wands, the the boomerang and the cat. Also it is for ages 15 and up. All right, so this is what it looks like in the packaging. You got um, two wands, one with a crystal, one without the boomerang, the disc with hand, the crazy looking cat. You've got five face plates and the hand with the stand. I'm going to show you the stand first. The stand's pretty cool. It actually says Nisei Sailor Moon on it. I can get it. It's really taped down. Really pretty purple. Nisei Sailor Moon. I feel kind of weird doing this review because it, it, it's an older item. It's been out for four years, but, you know, hey, whatever. So, we're going to open her up. Hard part about opening these is that every time you open them, parts go flying everywhere. Alright, so she's wrapped very well. She's got the plastic around her torso for paint rub. Her hair is very yellow, but the pigtails are actually, they have a little bit of translucency to them right in here. And that, I probably, get, I'm probably going to keep that faceplate on her because, you know, it's a typical faceplate. The rest of them look just like moons. Um, let's see. I do have a little bit of paint defect on the boot right here. It's really hard to see. But overall, her color scheme is exactly how it's supposed to be. It's the purple and blue. I'll put her down for a minute. All right, let's look at the goofy looking Luna. This is goofy looking Luna. I love goofy looking Luna. Goofy looking Luna is the best. Alright, so now for the crescent wands. These honestly look just like the original crescent wands. So this would be good if you need a replacement for your Sailor Moon. So, yep, there's the one with a crystal and one without. Put that back in there. I don't, I'm not sure which prop I want to use. Um, take out the frisbee. It's the, the hand with the frisbee. She's 
show you the hand pieces. I like that they do the little handstand. Not many of them do this. Like Saturn had it. And this one does have it too. So you've got one, two, three, four, five pairs of hands. Along with the, the stand, which only holds that many. Um, let's go to the face plates. The face plates really look just like Moon. The only thing is... Is her stone red? I don't remember. I need to look at that. But there's the faces. And that's really about it. Um, there's nothing super special about this uh, figure. It's just... It's funny. I love it. So, I will um, add this to my Sailor Moon shelf, which I've done, a, I've done a video before. I plan on doing another video whenever I get Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune. Because right now, they're the only ones I'm missing other than the Super Sailor Sinchi. Because I don't know if I really want those or not. I don't know. But... I will be uploading pictures of her on Instagram too. So if you follow my Instagram at desu underscore karakishu, which I will link below, that would be great. You guys have a great day, okay?